up beautiful people and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to our series of daily UI, the daily UI challenge. So currently I'm on day 16. I had a lot of work the previous day so I had to pause the challenge but now I'm back. So let's get started. On day 16 we have to do a pop-up or overlay. I'm going to do a pop-up and pretty much I already know what I want to do. It's going to be something very simple, just a button that when you click it, um, it will open a form. So yeah, let's start with the easy things. I'm using CodePen and I will leave in the description box the, um, the link for my CodePen and especially the link for this project that I'm developing right now. So if you missed something or you don't follow me or you want to just repeat something, then you can just click on the link and you will go to CodePen. I've already written some stuff, so let's see what I have written. I have uh, my meta and link here for material for angular material and yes if I haven't mentioned that I'm going to develop that project using angular js and material UI. Now I have a body with an ng controller, up controller and an ng up with my up. Today's theme is day 16 pop-up or overlay and then in the working area I have the button. For the button, I created one class named Click Me Button, and the only thing that this class does is adding a color to the button. The MD Raised class, it's coming from the Angular material, so it's basically just a copy paste. And then for the functionality, I'm using an NG Click with so advanced and inside the parentheses an event. Okay, so. First, let's see the CSS and then I'm going back to the HTML and the JavaScript part. For the CSS, I only have these things here, a body, a theme, the working area, the click me button with a background color, and then currently I'm not using the footer, but it is just for doing, you know, some simple styling for my footer that I don't currently have. In the JavaScript part, I only have an Angular Dot module, my app, and then some dependencies and the controller, which is currently empty. But in a bit, we will start writing writing stuff inside here. Okay, back to the HTML. So after the button, I have a script, and inside the script, I'm going to write the functionality for the Click Me button. If I click it now, nothing is going to happen. So let's start writing exactly what we want. And I think that I've already mentioned again that I want a form. So to do a form, I will do, okay, an MD toolbar. And we have to close that toolbar. Cool. And now inside this MD toolbar, I also want to add a div. So let's do that. Okay. All right. And now I have a div with class MD toolbar tools. Let's close that div. Cool. And after that, we will start typing our first things. Okay. And the first thing that I want is a title for my form. And this title is going to be yet another form. I mean, for this challenge, I have done so many forms that I think that you know how to do them. And that's why I don't pay too much attention in the forms. Then I'm going to have a span with flex and I'm going to close it and then I'm going to have another MD button but this time this button is going to have an icon and an ng click with console. Okay, let me fix uh, the tabs here. Cool and an MD icon with an SVG so when you click this it will open and it will have an X button in order to close it back. Cool. 
So I have the div and the toolbar. So now I can simply continue with the MD dialog content and this is where all our main action is going to happen. The first thing again that I will need here is another div okay with a class the class would be and dialogue content and style would be width and autumn again here i'm going to need a new form so let's also type that cool it will be the contact form and after that contact form i'm also going to add a div with a layout row so i'm going to have a row there and an empty input container class with empty block so you need the empty block to have the full width and i know that i'm currently i'm not closing the form or the div or the empty input container but trust me i'm going to do that quite soon okay and after that i'm also going to have a label with name so our form will have um, a name which will also be required and if someone doesn't uh, write anything for the name then he will get an error or a message and this is going to be just as simple this is required as simple as that so now our md input container is done and i guess that i can close that thing all right cool uh now i'm also going to need another md input container and another class with log and i'm going to do so because um i'm going to need the email so also let's write the stuff for the email after the empty container or sorry after the blog here they are again a label and an input which again is going to be required so our email is going to be required and i also have an ng model and minimum length so the minimum email can be four characters whereas the maximum can be 100 and the type of course is going to be email Again, I'm going to have some messages depending on what the user has typed and also a thing that I'm done with my email. So let's close the MD input container here as well. And I think that one of the last things that I'm going to need is to have an I, I accept the terms of service kind of thing. Um, yeah. So let's also add that one. I'm adding them pretty quickly because I don't think it's something very difficult or it's something that you have never seen me doing. So yeah, but if you have any troubles, again, just leave a comment below and I will try to answer it. Um, because I don't want these videos to be super slow because otherwise they are not going to be interested for everyone. Okay, now our form is pretty much done, but again, if I just click this button, the click me, nothing is going to happen. And this is because we haven't written anything in our JavaScript part. And this is quite important if you want everything to run smoothly. The first thing that I'm going to do is to add our scope with the name of our function. So let's do that. I have a scope with so advanced and a function in there. And inside that, I'm going to have an empty dialog with show. And now here I have the controller, the template URL that we just write it in the HTML, the parent, which is again what we wrote in the HTML and the target event and click outside to close which means that if I click here, uh, then a form will pop up and I can just click outside it and it's going to close. Now, the last thing that we have to write before we see our comment is, sorry, our code to run is this function, the dialog controller with the scope, 
and an empty dialog as a parameters. And now it's very simple. You have the scope dot console equals function and an empty dialog dot close. So are we ready now to click the click me button? And yep, this is our result. So let's see it in action. If I click on here, it closes the MD rise class that we added. It's like, you know, this small effect that it's dragging it outside. It's like it drags the form outside of the click me button. And then again, when I click outside, it closes very smoothly. Um, now here, if I type name, it's all cool. If I don't type anything and I just try to submit, I get an error here. Um, so let's again write uh, my name, which is Elferia. And for the email, if I don't write anything, again, I have an error. If I try to write something, then it's all good. I will click also on I accepted the terms of services. And now our form is completely done. I don't see any errors. So our project is completed. I know that this video was quite fast, but this was because I've already have shown you how to do this kind of stuff. If you don't know something, then just please leave a comment below or check um, the link in the description with my coupon account. I hope that you liked this video and if you did, just consider sharing and subscribing. It would be awesome and it will give me the power to continue doing what I am doing. Thank you very much for watching, have an awesome day and have a great coding session. Bye and see you really soon!